how much can my truck tow? Or what size truck do I need to pull that trailer? These are common questions that I get in here and see all day every day. And I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to answer those questions using nothing but a backpack and a hand cart dolly thing. So for the purposes of this demonstration, the, uh, the hand cart dolly thing represents the trailer in question. I'm going to actually represent the vehicle and the backpack, well, that's going to be the cargo that you bring with you. So what I wanna do is go through all the terms and definitions of towing and kind of point to this thing to help you understand what they all mean and, and how that applies to the real world. So first of all, the different weights and towing terms that apply to the trailer. First up is UVW. That's the unloaded vehicle weight or the empty weight of the trailer. That's how much the thing with nothing in it uh, weighs. Next up is GVW. That means gross vehicle weight rating. That means maximum weight of the trailer plus maximum cargo before the thing gets so heavy that like the axles break or something starts bending or something starts breaking. That's the most the trailer with maximum cargo can possibly weigh. And that's a very important number because if you make sure that you can always handle the GVW of the trailer, then you're never gonna be overloaded. And with those two pieces of information, we can get the CCC or cargo carrying capacity of the trailer. And basically what that means is if you take your GVW maximum weight minus the empty weight, the leftover is how much stuff you can put in it before it starts to get overloaded. Now that stuff's pretty straightforward where it starts to get a little screwy because this is where the trailer starts interacting with the vehicle is the hitch weight. So you don't add or subtract the hitch weight to anything on the trailer itself. The hitch weight is how much weight of the, the trailer is actually being expressed on the tongue where you hitch up to the vehicle. So whether that's a, uh, a travel trailer ball hitch or a fifth wheel kingpin gooseneck hitch on a horse trailer or something like that. How much of the trailer weight is being vertically expressed onto the vehicle? How much weight does the vehicle have to carry? And that right there is a key point. Understanding pulling the weight versus carrying the weight is the difference between towing and payload. So once again, in the demonstration, that's a trailer. I'm a truck, the backpack is cargo. This is carrying the weight, picking it up. This is towing the weight, moving it forward and back. That's a key, key thing to understand. So that's the basics of the trailer weight kind of category. Moving over into the vehicle, the curb weight or empty weight of the vehicle is just literally that. It's how much the vehicle weighs just sitting there. Sort of like the trailer UVW empty weight. The curb weight is just the weight of the vehicle sitting there. And very similar to the trailer, the GVW of a vehicle is the maximum weight of the vehicle with all the maximum capacity of cargo that you could possibly throw into it. So just like on the trailer, the maximum GVW of the vehicle minus the empty curb weight of the vehicle is the maximum amount of cargo that you can take with you. So uh, to kind of give you a visual reference of this, if I am the vehicle and I'm just sitting here and you weigh me, that is my uh, curb weight. If this is my maximum cargo right here and I strap this thing on, this is GVW. Empty weight plus max cargo weight equals maximum possible weight of the vehicle sitting there before something's overloaded and something breaks. Now, a really quick important note on truck payload ratings right here. Anything that is not the truck itself that goes in that truck is cargo that goes against that truck's payload capacity. That includes you. That includes your passengers. That includes the dog. That includes the hitching that you actually apply to the truck to be able to handle the trailer safely. So that, that's the thing is like you see, okay, well, the, well I'm, I'm gonna make up an example. The truck has 1600 pounds of payload rating. The trailer has a 1400 pound hitch weight. I should be fine, right? No, by the time you load yourself, your hitch, a little bit of cargo, your passengers in that truck, you are over the truck's payload rating, you are overloaded and you are not safe. Now, all that kind of boring stuff out of the way, uh, what I want to do now is kind of show you how the truck and the trailer interact and how the weight of one uh, compares against the weight of the other and what specs you need to look for to make sure that these two things are safe to pair up. Now, there's two more specs that you really need to know here, the GCWR and the towing capacity, and the one helps you get to the other. So the GCWR of a truck is its gross combined uh, weight rating. That is the maximum weight of the truck with all of that cargo strapped onto it that we saw, plus the maximum weight 
of the trailer with all the cargo that it can possibly handle all linked together in one. It's the maximum possible weight that that truck can handle before basically something really starts to go screwy. And we can use that GCWR to determine our vehicle tow rating. Because if I know the maximum weight of the fully loaded truck in the fully loaded trailer, and I subtract the weight of the fully loaded truck, then right there, that is your tow vehicle rating. So GCWR of the truck minus GVWR of the truck equals your maximum possible tow rating. And that's really handy to know because it seems like very few manufacturers tend to just list the tow rating on their vehicles. But if you look at those stickers in your door jam and there's all these numbers, if you find your GCW minus your GVW, that right there, that tells you your tow rating. So that's something that you can do at home. You don't have to call anybody. You don't have to say, well, I've got a half ton with a V8 and the guy goes, yeah, you should probably be able to handle it. There's no, the, the, like that generalized kind of just, yeah, go ahead and buy it and fly it. And full sand, brother. Like that's the kind of stuff that gets people in trouble. That's what I'm trying to avoid here today. If you appreciate what we're doing here for you today, make sure you like this video, subscribe if you're new with us and leave us some comments letting us know that you appreciate this little effort today. And I wanna kind of run you through uh, a few examples now that we kind of know the, the boring math side of things. So how does the truck, the cargo and the trailer interact? Okay, so if you know your tow rating, you know the trailer's GVW. The trailer's GVW should never exceed my, the truck's tow rating. If that weighs more than I could possibly pull, then I'm gonna like blow a hernia or your vehicle is going to like uh, blow a gasket or I might blow a gasket, I don't know. Now, another interaction is the trailer's hitch weight or pin weight in the case of a gooseneck or fifth wheel hitch against the vehicle's payload capacity, the vehicle's ability to carry weight vertically. So if I pick this up, I am picking up its hitch weight, which again is obviously less than the whole weight of the RV. It's how much weight is just dead on the front of this. The hitch weight needs to be less than my payload rating. So once again, I'm not overloading this thing and well, as we said earlier, blowing a gasket or overloading your brakes, your wheel bearings, your drivetrain, or anything like that. And this fact right here, hitch weight like this, this is the reason that I don't think most half ton pickups are capable and well suited for fifth wheel towing. And I hope you appreciate this kind of clarity and candor because what I just said is the number one most popular truck vehicle out there is not well suited for fifth wheels in most cases because of lacking in payload capacities. I just literally said so many of the things that we sell here every day, you probably shouldn't buy if you have a half ton pickup. This is not information that necessarily benefits us, but I believe fully in putting safety before the sale. And I love that I work for a place back here that encourages me to do this kind of stuff to keep you folks safe because we would rather make sure that we're earning your business the right way, the way I've always said it. If I sell you an RV, well, I'm not in sales. If we sell you an RV and I bump into you at Walmart and you're buying a head of lettuce, I don't wanna have to duck down the dog food aisle. I wanna be able to look at you with a clear conscience and know I didn't put you in a dangerous, unsafe situation. But somebody's gonna say, yeah, but what about airbags? Now, I cannot say this enough. Airbags are not a solution to a lacking payload rating to be able to tow a fifth wheel. Someone's gonna say, yeah, but it just pushes the back end up and then you're you're just fine there, Clark. Well, the problem is it doesn't actually change your payload rating. It doesn't actually change the stress on your brakes, your wheel bearings, your drivetrain, and you're still asking that vehicle to do more than it was designed to do. And God forbid you have some kind of accident. If Johnny Law takes a, a look at all those uh, tags on the vehicle, you're gonna be in hot water. Now, another common question, is when a manufacturer lists hitch weight, is that loaded or empty? It actually varies a little bit by manufacturer, but typically it is dead bone dry empty. Nothing in the holding tanks, no cargo, often not even uh, propane in the bottles or a battery on the tongue. Some manufacturers though, if you actually read the tag on the trailer, it might say uh, maximum cargo carrying capacity uh, or empty weight rather, assumes say like a full generator fuel tank or whatever. So it can vary a little bit from trailer to trailer. You should be able to read that right off the sticker on the trailer. But generally speaking, it is absolutely dead bone dry empty. So how do you know how much hitch weight you're actually putting on your vehicle to make sure you're getting a proper vehicle? 
Well, thankfully, I've got a full separate video on that, but I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes version of it here so we have it all kind of in one spot and you don't have to jump around like the house of pain. So what you want to do here, and understand this is an estimate. This is not a guarantee of exactly what your loaded uh, hitch weight is going to be, and I'm going to show you why that is in just a minute. But if you take the listed empty hitch weight from the manufacturer of that RV, divide it by the empty dry weight of that RV from the manufacturer, that is going to give you a ratio. Multiply that number by the GVW of the trailer, and what you'll find is an estimation of the maximum hitch weight of that vehicle, or of that trailer rather, before uh, that you will be applying onto the vehicle. The thing is, the reason I can only say estimate is there's no way to guarantee it will be accurate for everybody. Well, why not? Why not? It seems like that should just work, right? Well, the problem is. Look at all the space we have here to load the cargo in a different place. If the cargo's all the way back here above the axle, I'm not picking up much of that cargo weight. Certainly a little bit of it is, is expressed here on the tongue of the trailer, but very, very little. The vehicle isn't actually carrying a lot of the weight of the, uh, the cargo. Now, if you shift that cargo all the way to the nose, like to the belly of the RV where fifth wheels always have their uh, capacity, you can try this at home with a wheelbarrow or a hand dolly or something like that. Even a board with a brick on it, I don't care. If you start picking it up now, you will feel, as the vehicle, you will feel that you are carrying more of that weight than you ever did before. Now, that's the thing. This is why truck campers require such a big vehicle and half tons aren't well suited to a lot of uh, fifth wheels. Because when you have a lot of weight right on the tongue, that vehicle has to carry more weight. Or in the case of a truck camper, every ounce of the weight is being carried on the vehicle itself. So the, the tow rating has nothing to do with handling a truck camper. It has everything to do with the payload rating on a vehicle versus just the weight of that truck camper. So this is why manufacturers can only list an empty hitch weight because they don't know where you're gonna put this cargo. And uh, like my friend Matt Foley said, no man, you're gonna end up in a van down by the river. So just a couple to show you the numbers, math examples here. I'm not gonna sit here and read all this off to you. Pause the video if you need more time to review it. But our first example here, this is an example of a good safe pairing where no weight ratings are exceeded in any way, shape, or form. Mathematically, it is a safe, safe pairing. But in this second example, if you look at it, at a glance, you're like, oh yeah, no, he's got plenty of tow capacity, he can handle that just fine. Or she, or hot pocket, or whatever pronoun or object you prefer. I ain't judging, I don't care. Um, I'm just trying to keep you safe. But if you look at it, this is, this is an example of like kind of what happens with a lot of half ton pickups and fifth wheels. There is too much hitch weight on the trailer, uh, overloading the potential payload rating of that pickup. So once again, a very key thing here. This is towing capacity. This is payload capacity. Towing is horizontal, payload is vertical. Maybe that little trick right there will help you remember one versus the other. So special thanks to today's guest, Dolly Baggins. She's Bilbo's aunt. You never heard about her very much in the Lord of the Rings uh, saga, though. By the way, uh, the extended version of those movies is the only movie in history that actually runs longer than just reading the book. Um, <laughs> neither here nor there, though. If you appreciate this, if you like how we're putting safety before the sale, because again, some of this information today might mean a lot of the RVs that we have might not be the ones that you should purchase with your current vehicle's tow capacity. Um, the goal here always, help you find your second RV the first time around and to put your safety before the sale. And if you're new with us, if you appreciate that, hit that subscribe button. If you've, uh, you're have you a regular returning member, leave me a little comment. It says like, hey, thanks nerd. Leave me a little hashtag nerd herd or something down in there. And if there is one of these videos, any of our videos that you ever share, please make it this one. Share this uh, video into your social media groups to help people make better, safer decisions. And that's, that's how we keep the roads safer. That's how we keep people safer. That's how we keep stuff out of the shop. That's how everybody helps everybody. And as a camping community, I hope we can all kind of do that a little bit together. So as always, folks, thank you very much. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.